heart. That's an actual heart. <laughs> Nobody wants to do leg day, which is why I want to do leg day. Oh, 10 questions. That's What's up? It's your boy David. I'm gonna try to answer some questions. Let's get it. Rugby or football? I gotta go with rugby. There's no stoppage. You get to play offense, you get to play defense. It's the cheapest sport there is. All you need are cleats and a mouth guard. I don't even wear a mouth guard, but yeah, definitely rugby for sure. <laughs> Exercise I see most people doing wrong. Probably the deadlift. A lot of people have that cat back, you know, the arched, rounded back. Their shoulders are rolled forward. You know, their scapulas are protracted. When you want like a neutral spine and you want those scapulas nice and locked back, you know, gotta protect the joints, gotta protect that spine, but probably deadlift, so I gotta say that. My favorite Oxfit advanced feature is probably a two-way tie between overload and burnout. I like overload, honestly, for any exercise. I really like adding weight on my eccentric phase because your body's able to resist more force than it can produce. And you know, those long, heavy eccentric phases really grow muscle. And you can't really do that in a natural gym setting unless you have like two other homies putting weights on for you. But probably gotta go with overload. Biggest fitness misconception. That's kind of tough. Probably that, you know, every trainer is clean cut, meal prep, doesn't go out. You know, we like to have fun too. We like to go out, have a few beers here and there, and you know, maybe splurge on the weekend, eat out. But you know, you can still do all that and be in shape. It's good for the mental, you know, you gotta treat yourself. In shape mentally, in shape physically. That's probably what I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> What do I like to eat before and after a workout? Right before, big fan of the peanut butter and jelly or like a banana or something, you know, kind of high in sugar, boost that glycogen, get that blood sugar up, so I'm ready to smash the workout. Then afterwards, big on the steak, like a ribeye or a New York strip. I like to sous vide it, you know, in the bag with like some butter, thyme, rosemary, all that good stuff. And then quick sear, both sides, like a minute each side, do that nice crust. You know, going for like a medium rare or rare. Big on the whole eggs. Kind of have a high protein, high fat diet and that protein's good for, you know, rebuilding those muscular tears after that workout. So those are probably my go-tos. My favorite tattoo, but I love them all so much. Probably gotta go with my Native American warrior. Got a little bit of Cherokee blood in me. Either that or JC right here. Mr. Jesus Christ, those are probably my two favorite. I can't, I can't split them up. They're together, okay, they're together. Leg day or chest day. Nobody wants to do leg day, which is why I wanna do leg day. You know, you use your legs every day, you're squatting, you're hinging, so you're deadlifting every day. Legs are power, you know, you run faster, you jump higher. Just power comes from the legs. I gotta go with leg day. The six pack secret. It's definitely diet and just doing your cardio, you know, that'll get, It'll get that excess fat off. It'll show that six pack that's hidden underneath that fat, you know, but diet and cardio, I'm sorry to tell you guys. Oh yeah. 
we're getting there. Okay, what motivates me to stay fit? Well, first off, I mean, I kind of grew up in a gym. Both my parents owned a gym, so that's one of the reasons. Um, I like being able to just move around and play and have fun without anything hindering my ability to do so. Who doesn't like looking good? You know, I like looking good. You know, a little self-esteem boost. And to top things off, you know, I could eat a little more junk food than most people, so that always helps. If I could only do one exercise a year, what would it be? Probably gotta go with deadlifts. You know, there's just so many variations you can do. You know, you can do your standard RDL, do single leg deadlifts, you know, for stability balance. You can do like a sumo deadlift, you know, hit those, those quads, you know, get your back into it, get your legs all beefed up. Probably gotta go with deadlifts. There's so many things you can do with it. That was my 10 burning questions. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in class.